All right, we got to take a break. Look, we're really late. We got uh, Doug Stanhope on hold. Oh, good. Tripping and laughing his ass off. Oh, brother. <laughs> Doug, stay right there. We'll talk to you next. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. Now we all. Just before break, we got word that Doug Stanhope was on the line. Yes. Tripping and laughing his ass off. Ladies and gentlemen, Doug Stanhope. Is there any other kind of tripping? Hi, Doug. No, usually when you're tripping. We are kind of radio, right? The what? The, the, we're, the, I, I should keep my uh, P's and Q's, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah some, some P's, some Q's, All right. All you know. Right. I, I'm just making sure. Just... just you know the game. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> what did you? Hey, what what did you take, Doug? Oh, uh, actually, we well, we've been doing mushrooms all night, but ah. but we just invented our own cocktail because we didn't know if we should keep tripping or go to bed, so we made a uh, uh, we call it the Xanadu. It was a we blended up Xanax with equal amounts of mushroom caps. In a coffee grinder and poured it into Jaeger shots. Oh, <laughs> Xanadu. We called it a Xanadu. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, we we invented it. So. Yeah, I would say you did. <laughs> I don't think anyone else would have come up with that. What else could a Xanadu be? Two glasses, one totally empty, and one with milk. <laughs> I'm not so, sure. um, <laughs> But if what? you find out about a bar selling them, I'm a regular. It's you. Wow, man. So you, you're really feeling good. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're trashed. I got to go over to Scotland in a, like a day. What are you doing over there? A fringe festival. I got to be there for a whole month. So I'm, now I'm like practicing for being absolutely out of my mind all the time. Because UK comics, the, you uh, make, yeah. Make American comics look like douchebags. Like, yeah, Norton gets peed on and stuff, and we're just so, yeah, we're, we're out of the norm. <laughs> Dude, but what are you gonna? So wasted. <laughs> how are you gonna get your? Uh, how are you gonna get your 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 drugs over there? Oh, the, they have drugs over there. Over there, it's like the old days of having fun in America. Remember that? Remember when fun used to happen? We didn't have to invent it or just make fun of other people to have it. <laughs> yeah, they, they're still in those days. Like, they don't have websites or they're still, like, just raw. The the good comics I know over there, they, uh, CD, what? No, I'm still coming in with a beer at 8 a.m. Doug is so, the worst nightmare of everybody that does anti-drug ads, because he's what? the one. He, he just makes it sound so much fun, like so much fun, like something you want to do. Oh. No, no bad stories, right? You're just having fun. Well, yeah, well, no. I mean, uh, you die at the end. That's the bad <laughs> story. <laughs> I mean, for all of us, but yeah. yeah. Well, why, why at some point do you have to go? Well, okay, yeah, well, that was fun when we were at Mardi Gras and we were 22, but that uh, fun must not have been real. Cause, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Have you guys ha uh, been having some of those deep thoughts tonight? Well, yeah. Some of those way out thoughts? We start having conversation about st stuff that you don't remember the next day, but it was so deep, like you were, you were curing the world's ills in one evening, and then the next day... You forgot it, or you remember it, and it sounded ridiculous. Yeah, Captain, I've been doing this. I've been doing this stuff for a lot of decades, <laughs> so it's not like a way out thought that I don't remember is out of the ordinary. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like I'm experimenting. I'm almost 40 years old, for Christ's sake. What have you guys been talking about tonight, though? Oh, we've been talking about I don't know what what have you been talking about to, you know, <laughs> when you were off the air and you could talk without the FCC busting your butt. Well, we were talking we were talking about crazy things that go through your head sometimes when like you're at a funeral and you you kind of get it in your head is standing up and maybe pushing the casket over and what a ruckus that would make, but your brain kind of tells your body not to do it. 
All right, we've been talking about the same thing. My buddy Joby Wan, his best friend, just blew his brains out. Oof. And he was a little reticent to trip tonight because it just happened. Yeah, that kind of make a bad trip if he starts yeah, thinking about my it. My mother is, like, uh, hopefully going to die soon. She's on fucking I, I, uh, on emphysema. I just I, I, I swallowed that F word. Yeah, but I didn't think you swallowed enough of it. <laughs> no. That's so his, his mom's got emphysema? My, yeah, no, my mom. Oh, your mom. Oh, does she, man? Yeah, and she's going to, yeah, Nor knows mother. Yeah, 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 I like your mom. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's, she's a funny mom to everyone else, but to me she's just uh, annoying, and I hope she dies soon. She's a joyless douche. <laughs> and, uh, a joyless, does she smoke, yeah, or like, did she, she smoke? Knows that there's nothing left in her life except to be alive, and yeah, I hope she dies soon, and, uh... So, yeah, we, we, we've been talking about stuff. But that doesn't matters. freak you out when you're tripping, like to start thinking about that kind of thing? Because then you start no, thinking about your own mortality. It makes you laugh when you're tripping because you realize that we die at the end. <laughs> it's it's all this ego, like Hollywood stuff that makes you laugh. Like you're just watching like any kind of entertainment tonight kind of stuff. Like, who takes this seriously? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, how can I continue making jokes like I care about this? <laughs> <laughs> because you die at the end. Like everything you're doing now is based on that fact. I go on stage every night with that thought. <laughs> Why even try? You're just gonna die at the end of it, <laughs> dude. I thought you don't you and your, don't you and your mom get along really good? Yeah. Oh no, no. I've hated her for ten years, Norton. Are you serious? Since she moved in with me, and she's been a liability. She made herself a liability to oh. me, and she will make no steps towards getting. She's completely a uh, 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 disability and all that. She can take care of herself, but she chooses not to. Okay. And I don't have the time to go through the like problems of you know the red tape. Of, well, you, yeah, get on the dole, baby. Do you, do you have to do things like cl clean her up and stuff? No, no, she's not that, bro. But, no. but she was like, they had to airlift her for emphysema to the hospital, they, like to the ER, and they had to vacuum her, <laughs> vacuum out her lung. Oof! <laughs> what the hell was she smoking? Like, well, she's been smoking cool menthols for 48 years or something. <sighs> yeah, she had her on a ventilator, and I'm sitting there watching her <laughs> die. I thought she was going to die for sure. And I'm watching her die on a ventilator after they had to suction out her lungs while she was aware of it. And I'm still looking down at her going, that makes me want a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus That was an honest reaction. Dude, do, yeah, does she yeah. still smoke? I still smoke. No, yeah. does she still smoke? light one. Does your mom still smoke? Oh, yeah. Well, actually, she's been on the patch for five days. Like, it's going to How is now. the patch a, a bigger, like, deterrent or a bigger reminder than, than vacuuming your lungs out? Like how she is really hooked on uh, smoking, I guess. Exactly, yeah. And, and you're smoking too, so you're probably gonna have like the same fate. Well, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. I think I could die from a lot of things sooner. I hope to not have the same fate. Right. I, I hope to have one of my other fates greet me first. <laughs> greet me. <laughs> I just wrote a big update, and I, I, I we're tripping. I go. You know, this is a perfect call because I just wrote a big update about o o and a for my site, and my douchebag web guy didn't get it up. I'm working all day on it, and then I just clicked on it. My update's not up on my site, so it's... <laughs> Wait, did you talk about us on your website? Well, no. It was, you, I, you guys had mentioned me like a week or two ago. Anytime you guys mention me, I get a flood of MySpace emails, which yeah. is very cool. No, we were we thought it was really cool that you gave us props on your latest CD. Oh, well. Uh, you gave us a little shout out from the stage, and then you couldn't understand why uh, the Howard Stern fans and the Opie and Anthony fans can't get along, or something like that. Yeah, no, that's uh, yeah, but it, and and that was kind of the point of the whole thing. It was, like, I actually had to take out part of the update because uh, I try to assimilate. Like, Dane Cook I, is my comedy nemesis. Uh-huh. But he has been forever, and I tried to uh, put that under the update, but it was, like, too convoluted, and I reread it. 
I Dan Cook is someone I like. I hate as a comic, but it, I don't have a problem with him as a guy. Believe, I live in a town of six thousand people right now. Where the hell you live? Jesus, the Arizona, down on the Mexican border. Oh. I, I took a month. Easy off to skip over the line if he needs to. Huh? I said I took a month off because I thought I needed it. Right. <laughs> and I just just to tell my buddy as we were tripping if Dane Cook. And Larry the Cable Guy walked into my local bar after a month off in a small town like this. I would have hugged them as though they were dead relatives. <laughs> 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 just, to, just to have someone to communicate with. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> like, all right. You I'm really have no one to talk rivalry to. Rivalry and the artists, whatever. All right, we can talk like human beings. <laughs> Why, Doug, why'd you move to that little teeny town? I don't know, midlife crisis or, I don't know. Midlife crisis, you buy a vet or something. Yeah. I don't you know. I had to get out of L.A. It was just, uh, that, like, that ego nonsense was, uh, I think we're going to move to Austin in January. You just, uh, you're just wow. a nomad. Hey, like uh, Cain wh- from wh- Kung Fu. What do you think about, <laughs> uh, stoned. what do you think about Mel Gibson? <laughs> I hate the Jews. <laughs> Doug doesn't care. <laughs> no, I I hate the Jews too. You do? Yeah. W- w- for what reason? Because I I I only hate the Jews that have to bring up that they're a Jew. <laughs> Why do you have to keep saying you're a Jew? <laughs> like, that was the first thing I thought because I don't watch the news when I'm off. Yeah. Uh, and I put it on, and there was it was uh, like 56 minutes of Hezbollah. Which yeah. is the Jews. <laughs> and then there was a five minute, here's a, what if revelation is really coming upon us? And then finally we'll end it with a human interest piece about Mel Gibson hating the Jews <laughs> and getting a DUI. All right. Next time I get, if I get a DUI, I don't drive drunk anymore because I'm so overdue for a DUI. <laughs> <laughs> you figure you've been lucky, so. Oh, it's hugely lucky. Yeah. But uh, if I do, I'm going to go, I hate the Jews. Can I get pressed? <laughs> I, have to, I have to live down this man show thing. Can you arrest me? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Hey, do you, you ever see it? Girls gone wild. I got to get out of my uh, to be a respectable comic again. Not only do I hate the Jews, but I'll be appearing at the Houston Improv. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I just hate it. It's like if if you came up to me and go, you know what? Because as a Lutheran, and and you prefaced everything as being as a Lutheran. But what, what does that matter? Yeah, you, know? you would hate really? the Lutherans. Yeah, yeah, the Jews. Well, you know, because I, I have a Jewish background. What does Jew mean? Shut the fuck. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think I think too much of the C got in that time. Yeah. But uh, Doug, Doug, you ever you, you're down in uh, Arizona. And yeah. you do peyote, uh, no, just, just mushrooms. Mushrooms? No. Oh, okay. I was going to ask you if you ever had one of those like Indian kind of. No, we did. Uh, we we did. Uh, me and Tom Rhodes did the other night on the same batch of mushrooms, on our bellies vomiting and and in our own waist. I I, I urinated in my own pants <laughs> for a, almost an hour on, this, <laughs> on a heavy dose of the same mushrooms. But we did mescaline in the desert uh, this May, and that was the first time I found mescaline. But yeah, people don't do good drugs anymore. They do tweak, and they're all coked up, and it's all like pointless drugs. I haven't heard of. I, I, I haven't even heard of anybody that's done mescaline in 20 years. That was the most, one never of my favorite found drugs it until this year. Mescaline was, just made you laugh. Yeah, exactly. You just giggle. Oh, it's fantastic. No, I watch mountains melt. <laughs> one of the most miraculous things, and I'm 40 years old. So you watch yeah. mountains melt in the desert, man. Oh, it's fantastic! Ooh. Wow. Yeah, I watched French fries under a heat lamp once. Um, <laughs> just turn like a kaleidoscope. It looked like every single French fry ha- was a different color and was changing colors like chameleons. Oh, uh, really last amazing. Last time I did Have you ever had a bad trip. Um, I didn't have many trips, and I wouldn't trip if I probably tripped like, and it was always mescaline, probably about three or four times tops. Once was at a Van Halen concert, and it was the first time I ever did it. Eighty four. Yeah, yeah, probably around eighty four or something. And it was at a Van Halen concert at the National Coliseum out on Long Island, 
and uh, I I took it and didn't know it hadn't hit me. Everybody else is like, I'm oh, dude, I'm peaking. This is great, you know. Van Halen's up there kicking ass, and everyone's laughing on the way out. So I'm like, dude, I'm driving. You guys are all too screwed up. I didn't make it out of the parking lot before it hit me full blast. It starts raining, so the wipers had to be turned on, and they're going like, and streaking the um, every light, like the stoplights and the street lights would streak because of the rain. And that made it even worse. And the radio started talking to me like, and I just started laughing my ass off. I didn't know if I was going down the parkway. I didn't know if I was doing five or 80 miles an hour. I was driving all paranoid, but laughing. It was, uh, that was the first time. But after that, probably three more times, but never had a bad one. But I would never do it if there, I was in like a bad place or in a bad mood. Or if yeah, my well, mother had that's emphysema. You learn when you're younger. You, you, yeah, that's why you call it experimentation. <laughs> you learn, yeah, I'm going to clean up my whole house because discord makes me crazy. I want a comfortable, safe place to do this away from authority figures and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And then we ridicule the way we live. <laughs> I couldn't do it after a, a friend's death or if my mother had emphysema like that. I, I, I couldn't trip. I uh, I had a bad time once just smoking too much weed and watching Grey Lady Down. It's some Charlton Heston submarine movie, and uh, they they went down and and I got into an accident and, and the sub was sunk at the bottom of the ocean and they were and trapped. they couldn't get out. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I freaked out. I felt like I was in the sub and had like the worst anxiety attack. I had to run into my room. I was pretty much in the fetal position, sucking my thumb. <laughs> It was one of the most First of all, awful. You watch bad Charlton Heston movies while you're tripping. We just watched a movie at the end of a trip just to try to come down, and that's when we discovered these uh, Xanadu shots. <laughs> to decide whether we should keep tripping or go to bed, and tripping won. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, you, that's uh, you got to be in a good place. Self uh, reflection, like, and this. Oh, I wish oh, this we got update the update was out. You got well, the watch my set later, like after I bust my webmaster's balls. Some guy, like when you mentioned me, whatever you mentioned me, like I always get a flood of MySpace, but I get this like perfect MySpace email from a fan of yours, and in the worst uh, English, like worst. Uh, Hey, you like you have to decipher what he's trying to say. You know the MySpace. Yeah, I know the feeling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and and the guy's name is Bob, and he's trying to make me decide. Like it was, they mentioned you in that school, but you have to decide between Opie and Howard. Yeah, it's like <laughs> antimatter and matter. And, the two can't be in the same place. Yeah, no, like, now nah, we don't like, play that game. He, he gauntlet, plays that but game. You have to see the picture. Yeah. Of the MySpace. That's what great, what's great about MySpace is they give you a picture of the guy you're talking to, and the guy has this like big, stupid, oversized Mardi Gras hat <laughs> with a half tooth smile, and he's from Jersey, and he's talking about. Well, unless you want to go with the Howards, like he's going to invite you to his Hampton house. And I wrote this whole update that will eventually be up that should have been up now, except I have a douche for a webmaster. We'll check all day for that, Doug. Yeah. Uh, Doug we got to take a break because, uh, you know, it's uh, FM radio. Yeah, that's all right. We might call you back because we got a PSA we got to play for you. <laughs> have you yeah. ever bitten into a hot dog and heard it scream? <laughs> and talk to you? <laughs> After doing any LSD, <laughs> we got we got an LSD PSA that's gonna make from, you laugh really like hard. The '60s. I, I'm, I'm hanging on the line. All right, we'll keep you on hold. All right, Doug, hold on a minute. All right, Doug Stanhope, I, I everyone. Can't. Doug's the, the check him out on his MySpace. The real deal, I think man. He has a drinking problem. Wow. <laughs> He's, wow. He's a rock star, though. We talk about that. We Not many rock Doug. stars left. Yep. All right, we should take a break. It's uh, we were just babbling to waste time. I, we found the LSD PSA. Ah, see? <laughs> see how see good people, we are? how it works? See how good we are? It was called filler. <laughs>
<laughs> no one gives a crap about Some people my, call us out my on mouse it. Prob- my mice problem but at this I, point. Are you? They go, are you looking for something? Because mm-hmm. I think this is filler. All right. Uh, and we got, uh, hopefully, Doug Stanhope still here. Doug. Hey, I'm still here. Hey, man. All right. Before we let you go so you can continue the trip, we got to play this thing for you. All this right. is a real LSD PSA that they played back in the day. We're thinking late 60s, maybe early 70s. All right? All right. I'm with you. Uh, I'm just enjoying the show. I don't have XM, so I just, I'm just i happy just to listen to you. Oh, we're not out there yet, huh? We're not in that 6,000 uh, well, person town? Well, Bisbee, Arizona. I'm in a town of 6,000 people, for Christ's sake. You, you know, that, that's a perfect, perfect town for XM. you got to yeah. get the XM. I'm sure I, local radio is not getting it. Free serious radio. Yeah, and uh, I, it doesn't. It, I can't even get the satellite out here. <laughs> you, you probably get XM though. There's a lot more repeaters. All right, here we go. The LSD PSA. Either one's better than terrestrial. What? What? What did I say? <laughs> All right, here we go. Listen to you. Here we go. I first dropped acid when I was 18. I was over at these people's house one night. This guy I went to school with was over there and asked me if I wanted to try some acid. Did he? I had read about it in the newspapers and heard a few friends talk about it, so I was curious. I was pretty jacked up on marijuana, so I decided to try it, and I dropped it. I don't know what I was waiting for, a flash or, or a rush or whatever, but I kept sitting there waiting and waiting, and nothing was happening. So I got up and then went to the dresser and put on a pair of pink capris and a green and brown blouse. I sounds, thought the color was beautiful. Cute. <laughs> so we... Green and brown is asking for it, by the way, you're dressed. <laughs> Deserves a PlayStation. <laughs> oh, she's a real looker, this one. Yeah. yeah. So far, so good, though. So far, it sounds like a good enough day. She dropped a little acid or something. Uh, no real problem. No, I got some uh, pretty clothes on for the year. Yeah. 1969, whatever <laughs> yeah, the hell it is. Horribly awry. It's groovy. And then I started hearing some music, so things can't go well. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. <laughs> here we go. It gets ugly. Yeah, here, here we go. Back to it. So we tripped down to Market Street, and I decided to buy a hot dog. very hungry and I had put mustard and ketchup and relish in the usual ketchup. and I put the hot dog up to my mouth and somebody started screaming I didn't know what was happening so I looked up at my friend Terry and said did you hear that didn't you hear someone scream he said no I got the hot dog up to my mouth again and I was ready to bite, and the scream got louder. <laughs> and it hit me. No, it couldn't be. And I looked down at the hot dog, and there was a face on him. <laughs> Eyes, nose, a mouth. We know what a I face is. Ketchup to where it looked like his hair. And he started telling me that I couldn't eat him. He had a wife and seven kids at home to support. <laughs> I can't hear the dialogue because of the music. Uh, what? I'm, I can't hear the dialogue because of the music. I know, the awful music, it like, drowns it out. <laughs> well, she looked down at the hot dog, Doug, and it, and it looked like a face. And then yeah, the face is talking, face, yeah. saying it has seven kids at home. And yeah, it looked like a, a, a Duke lacrosse player on the penis. <laughs> 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 I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Had a face, a nose, a mouth, eyes, the ears. The ketchup looked like hair. Yeah, the ketchup looked yeah, like I hair. I think the message is, I must feel like a whore for putting out, because otherwise, if I just uh, give in to my natural sexual urge, then a guy won't have to work 60 hours, put in overtime to get a spoiler for his Honda that might attract me to maybe giving him oral gratification in the toilet. <laughs> Is this what you're getting from this? <laughs> like, wow. Nice buzz. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's I get... think the hot dog is some kind of, you know, yeah. thing so, there. Uh, the where... hot dog, but the point is, yeah, drugs, any drug that makes you not produce is against the law. Is it, Any drug that will keep you dumb and happy in a 60-hour-a-week cubicle, <laughs> yeah, that's legal. All right, let's get back to the story here. All right. 
had a wife and seven kids at home to support. And I stood there with this hot dog and asked Terry, do you know this hot dog is talking to me? And he says, nah, let's get out of here. He thought I was just faking. Thanks for the help. And I told him, look at the thing. He's got a face. And he's screaming. And the guy finally looked over, and he got on the same trip that I was on. Look at the, you know something? This bitch just screwed up the other guy's good trip. Poor Terry. <laughs> Poor Terry is just hanging out. He's having a good time. He has to battle having a girl's name to begin with. <laughs> just wants to get high and enjoy himself. Have a little acid. Enjoy the time. Maybe get lucky with this uh, whore later on. Hey, it's the dog, 60s. He's, free love. He's tripping with a yeah, hot piece of ass. Yeah, he's, he's going to be getting some. Uh, she brings up a talking hot dog. He's like, no, nah, it's nothing. It, meaning, bitch, shut up. Leave this alone. Don't <laughs> don't think about it. Don't go she there. She brings it up again. He looks. Oh, Christ, it does have a face. Now right. he ruins his trip. Maybe <laughs> Killjoy. Maybe it was his hot dog. Maybe, yeah. He's not talking. Just Maybe put it in your mouth. Maybe it's his first trip, and knows, he, doesn't know, uh, he doesn't know well enough to leave her behind to go walk around the neighborhood. Yeah, just leave her alone, man. Yeah. And yeah, the hot dog had one eye, and it was yeah. looking at me they're, intensely. They're kind of bad trips. That's for rookies to deal with. That's why you have, that's why you have youngsters like Butters hanging around. <laughs> Drop her off at the hospital and just leave. Yeah, well, it gets better, so... Uh... Go, I'm waiting. So Terry has acknowledged the face on the hot dog. Yeah, Terry now is starting to get into the same bad trip that this uh, broad is in. It's like having free XM. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Over and he got on the same trip that I was on. And we sat there carrying on a conversation with that hot dog. Finally, I decided I was just hallucinating, so I put it in my mouth and bit down. <laughs> Scream so loud. That's, that's Terry screaming. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I see this Terry. a whole different yeah. way. They now. never left. <laughs> they never left the apartment. They never left the apartment, <laughs> and that's Terry screaming his ass off. She, she was tripping that they bought a hot dog. Right. And he drew a face on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just to be silly because they're tripping. Oh, this should be fun. <laughs> Boy, Terry, so was, broad. Terry was driving, and that just scream was the, the tire screeching. <laughs> the, thing, the guy I'm tripping with. He's a, he's a kind of a new friend of mine, and we're down in a small town on the Arizona border. Where, so he doesn't understand that I'm hearing, and then I put it into my mouth, and then I, I start yanking off, and he's like, I thought you were on the radio. And you go, just, I'll explain later. Yeah, bear with me. Yeah, bear with me. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so uh, I backed it up a little bit. Here we go again. I decided I was just hallucinating, so I put it in my mouth and bit down. <laughs> scream so loud that you could hear it all over town, so I had to throw it on the ground and step on it. <laughs> Opie Poor tactic. Guy. She's using the Opie <laughs> mouse technique. That's the same thing Lorena Bobbitt said. <laughs> 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 Why would you have to step on it? Why not just put it down safely and gently? <laughs> because it was it was uh, suffering like Opie's mice yeah, and the glue is, trap. This is a monster now. You got to put it down and you got to kill it. <laughs> right. That's probably that's probably just a drug. Biting it yeah. and, and stomping. <laughs> that's just stomping, thinking of all its children. <laughs> Poor Terry, he's just in San Francisco, in the heyday of the hippies. He's yeah. just trying to get some action. He's got some <laughs> chicken capris and a smart outfit. <laughs> yeah. Summer of love with some. Dope. <laughs> Some dope that's just <laughs> destroying his manhood. I don't believe it's a hot dog anymore. Uh, she got a nice unconditioned braid in her hair. <laughs> yeah, hairy armpits, yeah. 30 feet. Yeah. Where did they play this thing? Was this like the, in front of every good movie that you had to sit? No, nah, this, this kind of thing used to play in schools. Yeah. They would like get an assembly together in school and play this along with, you know, Hamburger on the Highway. That uh, movie about driving in Driver's Ed. I remember, honestly, in, uh, I guess it was sixth grade, a science teacher telling us that kids who would sniff glue would die and be so deformed that their parents couldn't uh, pick out their bodies in the morgue. <laughs> Sounds like, cool. I, I never thought about sniffing glue, but I, 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 it occurred to me later on, wait, wait, they were teaching me this in public school. <laughs> Yeah, it's such disinformation that uh, it destroys. Like this, yeah, there's drugs that are bad, but once a kid learns that, hey, if I smoke a, a joint, I'm probably not gonna blow my friend's head off. Yeah, it was always smoking a joint, and you would, um, you a know, the, if you were the babysitter, 
let's say you're babysitting and you smoke a little reefer, you would put the baby in the oven and the mother would come home and find the turkey um, upstairs tucked in into the crib. <laughs> that was yeah. always like the story. The and and is, she'd, one, she'd go to check on her I baby did. and go, where's my... Why is there? Why is are there a turkey in the crib? And run downstairs, and the the babysitter would go, "No, the turkey's in the oven." And the mother would open the oven and scream because her baby was cooked in the oven because the uh, babysitter smoked a joint. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, once once that kids realize that one that of those, terrific. am I there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're there. Yeah, one, once kids realize that one of those things is garbage, they discount all of it, and they go. Well, I guess heroin must be uh, just as easy as pot. Like, if you're going to have PSAs, make them honest. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's get to the end of the story here. we got 40 more seconds. Uh, I'm wait. I I'm all night. There's a great ending here. So loud that you could hear it all over town. So I had to throw it on the ground and step on it. And I was jumping on this hot dog in the middle of Market Street. that I had murdered it. And I took off screaming down the street, scared. <laughs> All right, running. <laughs> she ran down the street, there just scared. Goes. Nothing makes me want to slap a woman more than when they scream like that. Because she murdered a hot dog. Uh, is Terry, wait, wait, is there video of this? Or is this a... Yeah, there is a video. Yeah, you, you're you're going to have to tell me how this PSA ends, because I can only, the, the sound effects are screaming over the dialogues. Yeah, I saw the video, or a piece of it, uh, just recently. It was on something, I think maybe The Daily Show was playing, or a Colbert Report, uh, was playing like a piece of it. And, um, yeah, there's video. It's all groovy and done with, like, those those light shows that used to be done with oil paint and the overhead projector. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing like that was going on in between. Like an old Black Sabbath video. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Like exactly. Like, wow, Kaleidoscope wow. things going yeah. on. Wow, wow. Hey, Doug, yeah. I'll tell you how this ended with Terry in the emergency room. Going, why did she do that to me? <laughs> why? <laughs> She's jumping up. Why? Down. Why? <laughs> all right, we got a break. Doug, we're going to let you go, all right? Hey, thanks for having me. I I I I I I have an update coming out to you, but I'll I'll be in Scotland for a whole month, so I'll, I, I I won't. Uh, but I'll talk to you soon. Have a good trip. All right, watch. The, don't eat any hot dogs in the next yeah. Uh, yeah. 24 hours. What do you do? So. Make sure they're white. <laughs> thanks for having me on when I'm tripping. It makes me feel good. Right on, Doug Stan. No Check him out on MySpace. All right, Doug. All right, peace. There he goes. Love Doug. He's out of his mind. Bob Kelly.